couple of other uh, important uh, points. First of all, Armenia. Color revolution in Armenia. And remember, the, the uh, U.S., unfortunately, the CIA, MI6, they have learned nothing, nothing. They don't realize these are hostile acts. They're acts of war in a, in a way. I think we ought to proceed to ban color revolutions in the same way that we've banned poison gas. That's about the level of these color revolutions. Uh, the, the target had been Macedonia, right, to stop that, that um, uh, pipeline, the gas pipeline by Russia coming through. And then, uh, well, uh, we have to have something also for Armenia because Armenia is now – the target, uh, according to Russian officials quoted by the Moscow Times, and I'm sure many other places, Russian officials see color revolution in Armenia. Russian uh, lawmakers said Wednesday that rolling protests on the streets of the Armenian capital, Yerevan, could be the first stage in a color revolution, similar to those that have toppled governments in post-Soviet countries, including Ukraine, Georgia, and Kyrgyzstan. Konstantin Kozachev, head of the International Committee in Russia's Upper House Federation Council, says it's no use deluding yourself. All color revolutions have developed along these lines. So it seems to have not succeeded in Macedonia, and it would now be important for this to fail also in uh, Armenia. So uh, this is one to watch. But again, this reckless uh, policy of delving deep into the Russian sphere. Armenia is practically a, a protectorate. It is a ward of Russia, protected from Turkey and other countries that, that surround it. Right? It's one of the most firm alliances you're going to find anywhere. Um, and, of course, let's look to Greece. Right? If, if the IMF financial warfare goes on, undoubtedly the preparations are coming for a color revolution in Athens. So let's watch out uh, for that one, too.